Thank you very much, Kadrina. I yes. hope everyone can hear me loud and clear. And um, to begin, I would like to greet everyone present here this afternoon, all first year students, all senior students who have organized uh, today's uh, briefing and all the staff who are present today. So we have our lecturers and laboratory support staff here this afternoon. So a very warm welcome, especially to the first year students. Welcome to the program briefing. We are thrilled to have you here with us this afternoon. And this afternoon you will get to meet uh, the lecturers and also your seniors and the support staff. So um, I would like to ask the technical staff to please um, proceed with the showing the slides. Yes, thank you. Uh, next, please. All right, so if you look um, at the name at the bottom of the slide, it is Science Bioperubatan, which in English is Biomedical Science. So for all the international students who are here with us today, this afternoon, this term will become very familiar to you as you go along, right? Science Bioperubatan. So um, I'm sure at the end of your four years, you would have improved your Malay language skills and you would have no problem understanding a lot of different things. So as you may already be aware, the Biomedical Science Program at UKM was established in 1992. So we are the first Biomedical Science Program to be established in Malaysia. Next. So what is Biomedical Science? Yeah, if you're wondering, I'm sure you're all aware of it, but briefly, it relates to the study of human biology and medical science. So you will realize that most of your subjects are related to the medical sciences. Next. So why was the biomedical science program established in Malaysia in the first place? So there was a need for human resource uh, to work in medical diagnostic laboratories to carry out medical related research or health science related research and also to work in various health related agencies. So hence this program was established by lecturers and staff of the medical faculty. So way back in 1990s. So I think long before any of you were born. Yeah. So uh, this program was established and we are now um, have been around for a good many years. Next. So the program has its own aims and we, we review these aims uh, from time to time. And our major aims are to produce graduates who have the knowledge and capability to undertake, undertake various responsibilities in the field of biomedical or health science. And of course, we want our, pro, our graduates to be both professional and ethical in, their, um, in the way they conduct themselves and in their workspaces. And one of the uh, missions of UKM is to uphold the Malay language, the national language. So we in the Faculty of Health Sciences and in the Biomedical Science Program also would like to use the Malay language as a language of science. And for all the Malaysian students, you will be um, have the opportunity to use the language more widely as a scientific language when you write your final year thesis. Yeah. So we hope that your language skills are good, both in the Malay language and of course, we also want our students to be fluent in English because um, um, we want our students to be marketable worldwide, not just in Malaysia. And apart from academic skills, we would like our students to have both leadership and generic skills as well. And this morning you heard about the Chitra courses, which mainly focus on those generic skills. Next. So as I mentioned just now, the Biomedical Science Program in Malaysia was established in 1992 and uh, we have been accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Sciences in, in United Kingdom and the latest accreditation exercise gave us accreditation from 2018 up to 2022. So your intake is included within this accreditation period, which means when you graduate, your degree, your Biomedical Science degree will be recognized by all countries that recognize this accreditation. We are also a member of the Asia Pacific Biomedical Science Consortium, which comprises universities that offer the biomedical science uh, course program throughout the Asia Pacific region. So for example, Chiang Mai University in Thailand, Hong Kong University, 
So these are all universities that offer the biomedical science program. And we are uh, together with those universities. We belong to this consortium. And we at UKM are unique because we offer courses that are not offered by other universities. For example, we offer laboratory management course. We offer phlebotomy course. So these are all unique to UKM. So you have the advantage by doing your biomedical science degree program at UKM. Next. Right. So this just is just a picture of the accreditation that we received from IBMS. We have hung it on the walls of um, the corridors near our program office. So when you enter the faculty, you can take a look at these um, certificates. Next. Um, the two certificates are for the accreditation of both the undergraduate biomedical science degree and the postgraduate coursework master's program, right? So we do have a coursework master's program and that also has been accredited by IBMS. So we often get students asking us what can they do when they graduate with a biomedical science degree? So here are some examples of the career paths available to our graduates. And uh, there are various sectors. You could work in um, as a product specialist, which um, who, who sell various types of services and products related to the medical or health industry. You could work in research and development, carrying out research. You could also work at hospitals. So we fulfill the Health Professions Act, which has been introduced by the government of Malaysia. So if you want to work in Malaysian government hospitals, then our graduates are entitled to work as various different science officers in the different laboratories, whether it's as a microbiology field or biochemistry or uh, as a biomedical science officer. And of course, you uh, can choose to work in the diagnostic sectors, in private labs or in, in diagnostic labs or even in quality control. Next. Right. So we will look at the program structure. I know this morning you have received, um, you have followed several talks by the Dep Deputy Dean for Undergraduate, Associate Professor Dr. Zarianti. You've also had a talk on Chitra by Professor Rohi. So you've had quite a bit of uh, knowledge and information already on course registration and such. So this afternoon, I will focus on um, areas which are particular or specific for the biomedical science program. So as you all would be aware, this program is conducted over four years. It is eight semesters. Yep. So if you do not need to extend, then that would be the minimum duration for your program, for this program. And the total credits that you need to register for is 140, and that's a minimum. Yep. So that's the minimum number of credits that students would register for. And the subjects within the biomedical science program can be divided into different areas as stated here. We have subjects which are categorized as core biomedical science subjects, others which are categorized as under disease diagnostics, community health, practical training, and also biomedical science research. Next. Next. So let's have a look at the different subjects under these different areas. So for the core subjects in biomedical science, as listed here, some of these subjects you will cover in your first year, for example, anatomy and physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, a subject that you will cover in your first year, right? And then you have the diagnostics related subjects, which are a bit more advanced and which will focus more on disease diagnosis. So you have subjects like uh, medical bacteriology, virology and mycology, clinical biochemistry, chemical pathology, toxicology, cytology, parasitology. So quite a number of uh, subjects in a wide range of fields. So these are, uh, and the focus for these subjects will be related to how you would diagnose diseases related to uh, different conditions. So a large component of the biomedical science uh, program also focuses on hands on practical training. So you will carry out industrial training in your final year. 
And in your third year, you would also be attached to laboratory labs for diagnostic laboratory skills. And uh, while, while you are attached to these different laboratories, diagnostic laboratories, our lecturers will normally visit the students to see if they are um, carrying out or they are learning what they're supposed to be learning at these different clinical labs, diagnostic labs. So the picture on the right shows a visit from Dr. Noor Najmi. This was back in the days where face-to-face -face visits were allowed. And the picture on the left at the bottom was a virtual visit carried out by Prof. Adila um, to one of the locations where our students were carrying out their industrial training. Next. So a few subjects are also categorized as community health related subjects. So um, and uh, among these subjects are introduction to community health, scientific communication, phlebotomy and infectious disease management. So they have a community aspect um, in these subjects and we aim to give students exposure to community health practice. So we um, these uh, the skills that you will learn when you undertake these subjects will be helpful for you to practice in the community. Next. So last but not least, we have research related subjects and this um, research component has been broken down into three different subjects, which are research, propose, research methodology, research proposal and biomedical science research. So when you reach your final year, your third year and your fourth year, you will be taking these research related subjects. So the aim of this subject is to enable each student to carry out a research, pro a research project individually. And at the end of the research project, you will be writing a thesis, also individually, of course, and you'll be evaluated on all that you do. So this shows you uh, one of the lab sessions that we had last year during the COVID pandemic. So you can see that all precautions were taken in the lab and we hope that in the second semester, we will be able to have some face to face laboratory sessions for the first year students and um, we will be following all SOPs as um, laid out by the faculty. Next. All right, so a little bit about the course curriculum components and the different types of courses that you will have to take and register for. And you've covered a bit of this already this morning. So we have the Chitra education courses, which uh, Prof Rohi covered in detail. And there are also the faculty courses. And for this, they are mainly the English language courses. So each of you must have some English language qualification before you enter university. So if you have taken your Malaysian University English test, MWET, then you would have your band, right? Which band you fall under. And based on what is your MWET qualification, you will be taking certain English courses, right? So if it all depends on your MWET qualification. If you have not yet obtained your MWET qualification, you must obtain your qualification within the first year, right? And if you have not got your MWET qualification, you will have to take an English language placement test. I think at the end of this, this week, the CBET test, you will be informed about having to take this test. And that is in order to place you into the different categories. So we know which English language courses you have to take. So those are the five credits for the faculty courses. Now the main portion of your courses will come from the compulsory program courses. So these are the biomedical science courses which you all have to register for and they comprise 112 credits. Apart from that, there are also elective courses within the biomedical science program and you need to register for eight credits for the elective courses. So there are a number of elective courses offered to you and you need to choose which ones you want to do and register for eight courses. So in order to be able to graduate, all students must complete the required credits for Chitra. And remember, Prof Rohi told you this morning, you need to complete 22 credits for Chitra, which also includes the faculty courses. Yeah. And you have to complete the program courses in order to be able to graduate. So if you reach your final year and you find that you have missed out some courses, you've not completed 
all the courses you're supposed to take, then that means you will not be able to graduate until you complete all the required courses, right? So as stated earlier, the total credits for graduation for the biomedical science program is 140 credits, but many students take more than 140 credits because they like to take extra courses in different fields, right? They want to expand their experience, so they tend to take many different courses related to generic skills, and they end up taking more than 140 credits. So that is up to you, All right? Next. Right, so Prof Rohi mentioned that you will need to know what are the Chitra courses that you, your intake first year for the batch 2021-2022 will need to register for. So these are the Chitra courses which cover the six Chitra domains, C1 to C6. Now notice that the courses have been um, made equivalent to the program courses. So actually course uh, courses with the course code NNNB, B for boy, refer to courses under the biomedical science program, right? So any, co any course with the course code NNNB refer to courses offered under the biomedical science program. So the Chitra courses have been made equivalent to the course courses provided um, offered under the program. So by registering for these program courses, you automatically will be registering for the equivalent Chitra courses as well. Now on this list, there are a few courses which do not fall under the program course. You have got under C3, you have NNPD1022, which is Science Thinker Laku, Behavioral Science, and you have um, C5, which are the Entrepre Entrepreneurial Course, CMIE1213, and under C6, you have um, Self Development 2, LMCR1062, which you will take in second semester. So those courses are um, offered under the faculty or under uh, Chitra, Pusat Chitra, the Chitra Center. So you need to register for these courses according to the different years, right? When they're offered. Next. Um, can we just go back to the previous slide for briefly? Now, I believe uh, Prof Zarianti has already covered this. So when you look at your course code and your seniors will probably explaining this to you as well. So the first digit, for example, for C1 and 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 B3692, the first digit three stands for the year in which you register for this course. So if it's three, it means you will register for that in your third year, right? If the first digit is one, it means you will register for that in your first year. So that's what it means. And the last digit two refers to the course credits. So for 3692, the course credits are two credits. Right. So if you have questions, you may ask your seniors or you may also put them on the chat box. Next. Next, please. All right. Thank you. So all registration, all registration will be carried out online. And if you saw the slide previous to this, that is the online registration portal, SMP web. Right. Can we go back to the SMP web slide? Right, so this is the online regist course registration portal. So all students will have to register for your courses before the semester begins usually. But of course, in first year, you have some um, allowance, so you can you have a few weeks to register for your first semester courses. Next. So these are the courses that you'll be registering for in your first semester. I apologize for the year. The session is 2021-2022, right? So same as uh, what was offered last session. So you will have to register for these four compulsory program courses. And you will be registering for one additional Chitra course, which is CMIE 1213. So first year students, these are the five subjects that you will have to register for, five subjects or five courses that you have to register for. So your total credits for the semester one, year one, would be 14 credits. So it's well within the credit limit that has been set by the university. So on average, most students will have to register for um, within 20 credits per semester, but of course you're allowed to register for more than 20 credits with permission. Next, 
I'm sorry, can we, I'll just go through the subject briefly. So you have anatomy and physiology one, you have basic biochemistry, NB1232, you have NB1433, molecular and uh, genetic biochemistry, and you have NB1252, basic microbiology. Right, and CMIE1213 stands for uh, one of the entrepreneurial courses. Next. Right, so as mentioned by Prof Zarianti this morning, um, any course change has to be done within the first two weeks of the semester. But for first year students, you are given a bit more allowance. So within the course, first four weeks, you do have a chance to register and to um, drop courses if you need to drop any of the courses. Next. All right, so in, if you have registered for a course that you would like to drop, that means you do not want to take that course anymore, then that has to be done within the first four weeks of the semester. If you fail to drop that course, right, by the eighth week of the semester, right, then you'll be given a grade of withdrawal, course withdrawal. And if you still fail to withdraw any courses um, by the eighth week, you will end up getting a grade for a particular course. So be very careful about your registration, what subjects that you have registered for, and ensure that the, you have registered for all the subjects that you should be taking for each semester, and that you have not mistakenly registered for subjects that you have no intention of uh, taking, um, because that will show up in your results. So if there's any subject that you're not sure whether you want to take or not and you need, you need to drop it, you can uh, refer to your seniors, you can refer to your lecturers, you can refer to your mentors and ensure that registration and withdrawal from courses or dropping of courses are done within the stipulated time period. All right, so that's just a reminder for all students. Next. And please check your registration on SMP web. Yeah, make sure you're registered for the um, correct courses. And this is especially important when you reach your second year and third year and fourth year, because um, registration is tied to your paying of fees. So if you haven't completed your fee payment for the previous semester, you will have difficulties registering. You will not be able to register for courses. So just bear that in mind that all your fees are paid on time. And if you have any issues, then please do inform the head of program or the relevant staff. Now, in the case of deferment, the university does allow students to defer registration if for any reason you are not able to continue with your registration, right? For example, you're ill, you're not well, you have major financial issues and you cannot carry on with your registration as a university student, then you may apply to defer and for one year, maximum of two semesters, and join back the program after one year, right? So that is that can be done, but you need to apply within the time period stipulated. Next. All right, little bit of information for year one students. So your year one coordinator, in case you still don't know, is Dr. Siti Fatia Masri. So you'll meet her, uh, you'll meet, be, be meeting all the lectures after this when we get everyone to turn on their cameras if they haven't turned them on already. And every student uh, will receive a timetable for each semester. And each batch of students will, uh, you will need to elect your class representatives. So I think your seniors will be handling this. So the role of the class representative is very important. They will communicate between the lecturers and they will pass on information to the students so I believe you have a few class representatives, you know, you have a secretary, treasurer, and sometimes you also have subject representative or module representatives, and they have um, important roles to play. For example, they are responsible for taking down the attendance, student attendance during lectures, during lab sessions, presentations, etc. And for each year, you have a WhatsApp group. You're already into, uh, have been included into a WhatsApp group right now. And that will most likely um, carry on for the remainder of your years, right? So that will be the group 
where information will be shared among the students. Now, attendance at um, lectures and labs are important because um, if you do not fulfill the course requirements, then uh, there may be a problem with sitting for a final examinations later on. Next. <clears throat> So we at UKM um, adopt different methods for teaching and learning. So among um, the different methods that have been utilized include online lectures. And uh, for online lectures, the preferred platform is MS Team, which is why we've asked all the students to register on MS Team using your UKM, e UKM email address. And UKM has got an online teaching and learning um, platform, which is referred to as UKM Folio. I'll come to this next. And lecturers may choose to use various other e-learning platforms, for example, MOOC, Padlet, etc. So depending on the individual lecturer, lecturer, they may choose to use different learning platforms. So other than online lectures, there are of course some um, online lab sessions, which will be carried out this semester especially, and the presentations, case study, Self-learning packages, um, various coursework and reports are all uh, given to you online and you need to submit your reports online as well. And um, for hands on exposure, you have got clinical placement at diagnostic laboratories and um, some of the presentation that students do, um, you can see the pictures. They are either visualized face to face previously or they are, are presented online, for example, in poster sharing sessions. Next. So this is the UKM Folio, the online course platform. So once you have your email address and you're registered as a UKM student, you can access UKM Folio. So this is where all your course information will be uploaded, right? So the lecturers will upload the course notes. There will be important information regarding the running of the courses, the course performer, and exams will also be con uh, conducted on these online for online exams, they will be conducted using the UKM folio. So you must check the UKM folio regularly to make sure you do not miss out on announcements and you have access to lecture notes, um, laboratory practical manuals and all kinds of other reference materials which are posted up here by the lecturers. Next. Right, I would like to mention something about the course performer. So the course performer was also mentioned by Dr. Zarianti earlier. So the course, each course or each subject that you register for has a course performer and the course performer will be uploaded on UKM Folio, right? So you have access to the course performer. So what is contained in the course performer? You have got the background of the course, the course information. You have the course learning outcomes, what you are expected to know when you are taking a particular course, what what are the learning outcomes that you should have at the end of the semester? Evaluation, how is the course evaluated? How many quizzes, you know, are there assignments? So all of that information will be in the course performer. And last but not least, the reference list. What are the reference books or reference materials for that particular course? Um, we have also included online reference list this time for to help the students with accessing online references during this time where you're not able to physically go to the library, then we hope you also utilize the on online references which are available are provided by the library. Next. OK, examinations. Now, during this um, COVID pandemic time, most courses have uh, continuous assessment, so we have broken it up to quizzes throughout the semester and these quizzes are conducted um, on UKM Folio and of course the quizzes will add up to your final marks. Some subjects will have a final examination. Next. And um, in order to sit for the final examination, you will have to fulfill certain requirements. So the examinations might be either in written form or oral examination and course evaluations may include assignments practical reports, laboratory reports, which um, and this uh, assessment
assessments may be conducted either online or face to face. Next. So for the final examination, if there is a final examination, students must have completed 70% of the course requirements. In other words, your attendance, your submission of assessments, your submission of laboratory reports, they must have fulfilled a minimum of 70% of the course requirements. If you have not, um, if your attendance is lacking or if you've not submitted all your assignments um, in time, then you can be barred from sitting for the final examination. So please take note that you fulfill the 70% of course requirements. Now, especially for international students, your visa, when you apply for visa to extend your stay in Malaysia, if you are in Malaysia, one of the things that are looked at is your attendance, your course attendance, right? So please ensure your course attendance is complete because we need to give a report on your course attendance in order for you to apply for your visa, um, the continuation of your visa, right? Next. All right, so I just want to state one thing here. So as you would already be aware from this morning's um, briefing, so at UKM, we adopt a cumulative grade point system and all courses that you've registered for will be assigned grades from A to D, which are pass grades. And if you get an E, that is a fail grade. So A has got the maximum value of 4.00, while the value for a D grade is 1. While E, you get a 0, right? There's no value for E, you get a 0. So even if you, if you get an E grade, that is still um, counted for your cumulative grade point for each semester. Next. So this just shows you the limits um, for each grade. So for A, um, the minimum, the marks that you need to get in order to get an A, the minimum marks would be 80 marks. Of course, the maximum that you can get is 100. So if you get anything between 80 and 100, then you would get an A grade, right? And so on. And if you get anything below 40 marks, then you would get a D grade. Um, sorry, there's a slight correction for the D plus. I will... Um, we will correct that in your uh, guidebooks. Yeah. So for you, we will be adopting a different system, slightly different system for the C minus and the D plus. We will um, inform you of this um, um, later on. Next. All right. So don't worry. We've given you a lot of information, but each of you will be getting a guidebook, a student guidebook for the coming session, which is the 2021-22 session. You will be receiving it online and this student guidebook will give you all the information that I've mentioned so far. The course subjects that you have to take, um, what are the requirements, how you calculate your great uh, cumulative grade point average for each semester and so on. So it has a lot of information and it also has uh, information on each subject and references reference list as well. So once you get this course guidebook handbook, then you would have all the information regarding the program. Academic information, right? OK, so a little bit about um, um, being students on campus and working together with other students and with the staff. So of course, um, every university has got something of a dress code. And I, I think you might already be aware of it that UKM has got its own dress code for um, girls and also for male, male and female students. So you would expect everyone to be dressed respectfully and decently. And when you're conversing with other students and conversing, conversing with your lecturers and other staff, please address them appropriately. So if they're lecturers, you can call them doctor or prof, depending on their title. And if they are support staff, you can call them Mr. or Miss, or in Basamlayu, you can call them Inche or Puan or Che, right? Appropriately. And of course, when you mix with your friends and with others, let's adopt um, an, an attitude of inclusivity. So we use languages that everyone can understand. We use either English or Basamlayu so that everyone um, can understand what we're trying to say, what we're speaking with one another. So we all know Malaysia is very 
uh, multicultural, multi-ethnic, and now we are also very international. We have international students with us. So we would like to want everyone to feel welcome in the community at FSK and of course the community at large. Next. All right, some uh, places where you can get more information about the faculty. So we have a Facebook page and the faculty has got a Facebook page. The program also has got a Facebook page, so you can access these Facebook pages. Of course, there's also a website, UKM website that you can access for more information. Next. All right, so lastly, I would just like to share some of the activities and achievements by students of the program. So you've heard already this morning that we've had um, for two consecutive years, we had our graduates getting the Anugrah Plajarandi Raja or the Royal Study Award, which is the highest award for an undergraduate student at the, at the convocation or at the graduation ceremony. So in 2019, Farahana got this award. Next. And in 2020, Ravina obtained this award. So both of these students are from the Biomedical Science Program, and we are extremely proud of their achievements. Next. So the award is given for students who excel both in academic and in co-curricular activity and in leadership um, especially. So during the pandemic, a lot of uh, uh, many webinars have been organized by the students, and some of these webinars are part of the curriculum. For example, this one on blood donation drive. This was part of the transfusion science program. Sorry, transfusion science course organized by the students and under the supervision of Dr. Najmi. So next, so that's one of the webinars. This webinar was organized by the year one students, right, in um, June this year, and it was on uh, venereal diseases and reproductive system of uh, male and female reproductive system. So related to the anatomy and physiology course. Next. We also organized webin webinars for our final year students, fourth year students, because they would be leaving, they would be graduating soon. So we organized webinars related to working, the workplace and challenges in the workplace and what opportunities are present for them, both in the country and outside of the country. Next. The National Level Biomedical Science Symposium is a symposium that is organized by um, different universities every year. And this is meant for undergraduate students to showcase their research results. So remember in fourth year, you'll be carrying out a research pro project. So you can present your research project uh, results at this Biomedical Science Symposium. So this year it was organized by IMU and it was held in March. But um, unfortunately, most of all, many of our students could not take part because they had not completed their research in March. So that's why a number of them did not take part. So we hope that next year, more students will be able to, to participate in this Biomedical Science Symposium. Next. All right, so our alumni, our Biomedical Science Alumni Society is also very active uh, because we have many lecturers, and many among our lecturers were alumni of the Biomedical Science Program. And among them is Associate Professor Dr. Sativra, who, who is the chairperson or yes, chairperson of the alumni group, alumni society. And they have organized many in, um, activities throughout the last year right many webinars and events for the students and where the alumni have been very actively involved so lastly i would like to say welcome to the biomedical science program and uh, we will now uh, move on to introducing the lecturers and the support staff um, and um, i am not sure whether the fsk website is uh, up and running it has been down this morning. If it's not up and running, then I will just call out the names of the lecturers and support staff. And uh, please turn on your cameras so our students can see you. All right. So thank you very much. So we'll move on to the introduction of staff. Uh,
Can we have some background music maybe while waiting? Should it should it And if you have any questions, you may type them on the chat box and we'll try and um, get back to you on that. Okay, it doesn't seem like the website is up and running, so I will just call out the lecturers' names and I hope you can turn on your cameras and um, so that our students can see you and um, please do feel free to say a few words. So we begin with the academic staff. So we have um, six professors in the program. So the first professor I would like to introduce to you all is Professor Dr. Mohammad Kamil Abdul Ghani who teaches parasitology and entomology. Are you here, Prof. Kamil? Prof. Kamil? Not here? Okay. All right, the next is uh, Professor Dr. Siti Balkis Binti Budin. Who teaches pathology? Prof. Balkis. Would you like to turn on your camera? Okay. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, Prof. Nasinta. So, assalamualaikum and good afternoon, everyone. So, I can't hear you, Prof. Balkis. You can hear me. Are on my cam? Are they on my? Okay, 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 clear. Yeah? Yes. Assalamualaikum and uh, good afternoon, everyone. So, my name is uh, Dr. Balkis. All right, I'm uh, lecturing um, pathology, hematology, um, phlebotomy, right, and hematology, and also blood transfusion. So, uh, uh, most of the students will see me in second year, yeah, starting from second year. And then, so I'm glad to have all of you uh, here and I'm welcoming all of you, especially the first year to join our um, uh, Science Bio Probatan family. And I hope uh, all of you are happy to be with us uh, for the rest of four years. Inshallah, we will do the best for all of you. All right. OK, thank you. Thank you, Prof. Balkis. Next, we have Prof. Hidayatul Fati Osman, who is a very well-known parasitologist in Malaysia. I'm sure you might have seen her on TV several times. Prof. Hida? Well, Prof. Jacinta, that's a very kind introduction. I, I'm, I'm seldom sick. Sikit dia keluar kat TV, tak banyak. Sekali, sekala. But anyway, Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, selamat datang uh, menjadi uh, sebahagian daripada warga uh, Sains Bio Perubatan. Uh, saya Hidayah Tufati Osman, uh, dipanggil Prof Hida juga. So, um, kalau uh, orang kata bio perubatan tu susah, saya nak cakap susah. Tapi tak ada orang meninggal sebab belajar bayu perubatan. Semua graduate ya. Ha, jadi jangan takut. Okay, pesyarah semuanya pun baik-baik. Uh, ni puji diri sendiri jugalah. But you are always welcome to contact us. You know, I know a lot of anxiety going on, you know, going into an unknown uh, terrain, an unknown, uh, orang kata, um, 
territory uh, that's very daunting but however we are here to help you through from first year until fourth year so don't worry about it just give us a call just give us a shout if you need anything and especially uh, we will assign you to your mentors and uh, inshallah everything will be okay all right and anna okay sekalian jadi welcome back again to uh, Faculty Sains Kesehatan. Welcome to be part of us. Uh, we are real happy to be with you throughout your journey here with us. Thank you, Prof. Ida. Next, we have Professor Ahmad Rohi bin Ghazali, who teaches toxicology and pharmacology. Prof. Rohi. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and Selamat Sejahtera again. Um, we met this morning. I was the one who talked to you about Chitra courses. Uh, Tahnia for successfully making it as one of the Biomed family. Uh, I hope your learning experience, inshallah, will be very excited, uh, very exciting with us. Um, and I can guarantee you're not making a mistake for choosing us. If you're making a mistake, the mistake will be a beautiful mistake. So inshallah, you'll be, ha you'll be having a good time with us. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Rohi. Next, we have Professor Dr. Noor Fadila Binti Raja, who teaches biochemistry mainly. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good afternoon, everyone. Sorry this morning I have to leave early. So maybe some of you have not met me this morning. So, uh, Tania kepada semua, congratulations. Uh, kita diminta untuk berbahasa Malaysia, ya. Yeah? Although we have our international student here. So, hopefully that you can catch up soon. And uh, I think maybe uh, I'm among the first few yang akan uh, berjumpa kalian uh, dalam subjek biokimia. All the best. Thank you, Prof. Adila. Prof. Adila is also the Deputy Dean for Research and Postgraduate, so she's very busy. Yeah? All right. Uh, last professor in our program is uh, Professor Dr. Norazia. Binti Muhammad Zin. Hi, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. Uh, welcome, selamat datang uh, to UKM and Tanya, congratulations uh, to be Part of uh, a big family, yeah. We are a big family, satu keluarga Malaysia as well. So semua sudah terkenal seantara dunia sebenarnya. Pensyarah-pensyarah sains bagi perubatan ni friendly, ya. Yeah? Uh, dan garan juga lah. <laughs> okay, um, saya dah uh, masukkan uh, nombor telefon. Saya harap nombor telefon yang ada dalam senarai uh, yang diberikan itu adalah betul, ya. Yeah? Sebab kita nak masukkan dalam WhatsApp group. Saya dan ramai pesyarah yang lain untuk WhatsApp group untuk menti ya, eh, mentor menti. So hopefully to see you soon ya yeah. uh, semua. Saya uh, mengajar microbiology, makhluk halus ya, yeah, the bacteriology, medical bacteriology in your second year uh, in the uh, specific uh, topic in the fourth year and the immunology in the third year. Right, so welcome. Sekali lagi Tania dan uh, selamat berjumpa untuk menti-menti saya Nur Ain Fazira, Nur Aisyah, Zafira dan Intan Li Nur Liana. Okay, catch you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Nora. All right, then we have eight associate professors and uh, we have um, associate professor Dr. Ahmad Zorin bin Sahalan who teaches microbiology. Is Dr. Ahmad Zorin here? Okay, right. And we also have Associate Professor Dr. Dayang Fredalina Binti Haji Basri, who teaches uh, pharmacology and toxicology. Dr. Dayang. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Jesse. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon, everybody. It's nice to see all of you here. Okay, I'm, um, I will be teaching pharmacology and toxicology. So I will see all of you in your second year eh, for pharmacology and uh, in your third year for toxicology yeah so by the way i have been in ukm for 27 years yeah and i'm from kuching sarawak okay see you guys catch you thank later you. thank you dr dayang 
we have uh, Associate Professor Dr. Yanti Binti Rosli, but she's a bit caught up. I'm not sure whether she's able to join us because she was a bit busy this afternoon. Okay, maybe she's not here. Right, next we have Associate Professor Dr. Asma Hamid. Dr. Asma is on leave today, but she has joined us. We can't hear you, Dr. Asma. Okay, sorry. <laughs> There's a problem with online. Yeah, sometimes you forget uh, to unmute, but sometimes you just talk without uh, unmute your microphone. Okay, all the secrets can be heard by everyone. Okay, it's okay. So, uh, how are you? Okay, assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. Okay, uh, welcome, selamat datang eh, kepada pelajar pelajar baru. So, harap anda tidak menyesal ya, sebab masuk ke sains bawah perubatan ni anda akan rasa apa sangat terikat nanti ya dengan uh, pesyarah yang sangat baik eh we have a very nice puji diri lah i like prohida lah eh kita memuji-muji ya eh, pesyarah i think you can ask your seniors lah okay uh, welcome everyone but for the new students okay you'll be seeing me okay soon because i'm uh, i'll be teaching in uh, subject of biochemistry okay Biochem, uh, molecular genetic, yeah? uh, clinical biochemistry, instrumentation. Okay, so you cannot run away from us. Uh, the biochemist lah, the module especially. Okay, the first semester, second semester, first year, second year, first, uh, first and second semester until your fourth year. Okay, so just get ready. Okay, okay. Uh, Thank you, Prof. And welcome to right. Thank you, Prof. Asma. Next, we have Dr. Ismarul Yusda, Binti Isha, teacher statistics. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Okay, saya Ismarul. Okay. Um, uh, welcome to Biomedical Science. Uh, for first year, I will, uh, you will see me three years from now. Lambat lagi kan? Okay. Minta maaf lah. Lambat lagi nak jumpa. Okay. So, happy to see you all. Uh, selamat belajar. Selamat uh, berjuang. Uh, uh, terus, apa ni? Selamat berjuang mencari uh, ilmu di uh, bumi UKM. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Ismaro. Next, we have Associate Professor Dr. Satira Binti Zainal Abidin, who is very uh, involved in UKM alumni. UKM carrier, sorry. Dr. Satira, are you here? I think she had another meeting, so she's not here yet. All right. All right. Then we have um, a number of senior lecturers who are part of our program. So, the first one I would like to introduce is Dr. Mazlizam bin Abdul Latif. Dr. Mazlizam, are you here? Dr. Mazlizam teaches biochemistry and instrumentation. Okay. Right. Next, we have Dr. Nur Zakia binti Mohamad Sa'ad, who, also, who teaches biostatistics as well. Dr. Nur Zakia. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Hi. Tanya kerana diterima masuk ke program Sains Bayi Perubatan. Congratulate. Uh, to all of you. So, um, I hope. <laughs> my son. Uh, so, I hope that uh, everyone will enjoy their time here. And I will see you all uh, in your third year uh, in module Biostatistic and Research Methodology. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you, Dr. Zakia. Next, we have uh, Puan Shafariatul Akmar Isha, who teaches parasitology. Puan Shafa, are you here? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Okay, um, uh, thank you, Dr. JC. Okay, first of all, I would like to congratulate to all the, uh, the, the first year and uh, welcome to the Biomedical Science Program. Okay, um, I'm not going to see you uh, for this uh, per, uh, your your first year, but uh, we will uh, see each other in the second year. 
I'm going to teach you the uh, medical parasitology and also uh, medical entomology. So, so welcome again. Bye. Okay, thank you, Bojafa. All right, I've left out uh, a very important person, Associate Professor Dr. Zarianti Binti Abdul Hamid, who whom you met this morning, who is the uh, Deputy Dean for Undergraduate, and who is also a lecturer on our program, and she teaches pathology. Dr. Zarianti. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Ingat tadi KP dah lupakan I kan? <laughs> okay, uh, so but anyway, uh, Assalamualaikum, selamat petang, salam sejahtera semua. Rasanya kita dah berjumpa pagi tadi, okay, saya pun dah banyak uh, uh, bercakap pagi tadi. Uh, saya rasa tak ada apa, uh, cumanya di peringkat program, saya cuma nak ucapkan selamat datang ke program saya sebagai perubatan. Uh, dan saya nak maklumkan saya adalah alumni saya sebagai perubatan dan saya amat berbangga menjadi alumni saya sebagai perubatan. So saya harap semua pelajar uh, hari pertama berada dekat uh, program, okay, dah ada semangat juang yang tinggi lah untuk mengangkat matabat program saya sebagai perubatan. Itu saja. Okay, uh, take care. Kita jumpa lagi nanti insyaAllah. Lupa nak cakap saya mengajar eh. Saya mengajar um, subjek patologi, hematologi dan insyaAllah kita akan mula berjumpa di tahun 2 nanti. Itu saja projeksi. Thank you. Thank you Prof. Zarianti. Sorry. Tak apa. Okay. Next we have uh, Dr. Yap Wei Boon. Dr. Yap, are you here? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Thanks for teacher Sinta. Hi semua. Okay, so um, first of all, um, good afternoon and also um, welcome to all new students and uh, for the old students um, who are helping us coordinating the whole um, sessions. Thank you very much. And um, I will see the new students starting next week and then uh, for the entire semester. And then you'll see me again in third year and fourth year. And um, hopefully everyone have um, have a good learning experience with us at the program and also at the faculty, right? Um, good to see everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy, right? Thank, Thank you. you, Dr. Yap. Next, we have Dr. Arimi Fitri bin Matludin. Dr. Arimi. Are you here, Dr. Arimi? Okay. Uh, next, we have Dr. Hema, Dr. Hema Bharati, Paradam, Dr. Hema, whom you'll meet in your first year. Thank you, Dr. Jacinta. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Biomedical Science Program, and I hope you have a good experience the four years of joining us here. I'll be teaching the first year, so you'll be seeing me pretty soon, so we can talk more when we meet and for the seniors congratulations in organizing this and making it successful we all stay in the world take care everyone thank you dr hema next dr normalia binti abdul warif dr normalia okay assalamualaikum dan uh, selamat datang kepada pelajar baru uh, program sains bayu perubatan uh, saya uh, akan mengajar uh, terutamanya kursus uh, imunologi pada tahun tiga, tapi bermula semester lepas, uh, saya ada mengajar juga untuk sebahagian uh, topik dalam patologi dan juga petofisiologi. So, kita uh, akan mula berjumpa pada tahun dua nanti. Terima kasih. Thank you, Dr. Malia. Next, Dr. Farah Wahida binti Ibrahim. Dr. Farah. Yeah. Allah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. Selamat datang untuk semua pelajar. Um, saya pun nak cakap sebenarnya yang saya alumni uh, sains perubatan yang batch kelima. Okay. And then apa lagi nak cakap ya? Uh, pelajar akan jumpa saya di tahun satu, tahun dua, tahun tiga dan tahun empat. So tiap-tiap tahun akan jumpa saya. Dan itu je. Selamat datang. Thank you Dr. Farah. Next we have Dr. Izatushima binti Taib. Uh, hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat petang. Uh, welcome, selamat datang ke program Sains by Perubatan UKM. Uh, 
Saya juga merupakan uh, alumni UKM, alumni program sains bagi perubatan UKM juga. Uh, so nanti kita akan berjumpa pada tahun 2 dan tahun 3 uh, mengajar subjek uh, patologi dan juga hematologi. Uh, dan juga penyelaras kepada program latihan industri. So nanti uh, saya akan dikejarlah oleh you all semua <laughs> untuk pengurusan kepada uh, latihan industri. Okay, welcome to UKM. Thank you, Dr. Shima. Yes, Dr. Shima is very busy with Latihan Industry always. Next, we have your year one coordinator, Dr. Siti Fatiha Binti Masri. Dr. Siti Fatiha. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, welcome everyone to Biomed Family. And I would also like to congratulate everyone of you. Okay. So uh, we will be seeing a lot along your year one journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, the soonest is next week. <laughs> All right. So I'll be teaching you anatomy and physiology. All right. So I hope you enjoy being here in Biomed. If you have any problem along your journey in year one, you can contact me. All right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Siti Fatia. Next, we have Dr. Nurul Farhana Binti Jufri. Dr. Nurul. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Okay. okay, so saya pertama sekali saya nak ucapkan tahniah dan selamat datang ke program Sains Bayu Perubatan. Jadi saya adalah salah seorang uh, pensyarah di bawah modul biokimia dan anda akan jumpa saya juga lah sepanjang tahun, satu, satu, tahun 1, 2, 3 dan 4. Jadi diharapkan semua pelajar dapat menempuhi uh, zaman ataupun tahun pengajian dengan jayanya dan insya Allah keluar uh, untuk berbakti kepada yang lain dan kepada negara. Okay, terima kasih semua. Thank you Dr. Nurul. And last but not least, we have Dr. Nur Najmi Muhammad Anwar. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum. Thank you KP. Uh, selamat datang kepada semua. Welcome to Biomed, welcome to UKM, even welcome to Malaysia. Selamat datang and um, selamat maju jaya and all the best. So hopefully I'll see you in year two. Okay, berjumpa pada uh, tahun kedua. All the best. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Najmi. Now I would like to introduce to you a group of people who are very important to the program, who support us in the laboratory. So I would like to introduce the laboratory staff to you. We have two science officers and they are Ms. Maslin, Ms. Maslin Aman and Ms. Azura Rosidi. Maslin, are you here? <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, welcome to uh, to the new student. Uh, I'm uh, Miss Mazin Bint Amal. I'm science officer. Uh, I will assist you in fourth year. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Azura. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, selamat datang semuanya. Okay. Uh, kita jumpa nanti semasa taklimat keselamatan makmal. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Then we have uh, Mrs. Maria Hayati Abu Bakar, who is our most senior um, science, um, well, assistant science officer. Selamat datang. Tanya dan selamat datang kepada semua pelajar baru. Semoga mendapat pengalaman yang ter terbaik dan semoga uh, mendapat pengalaman mendapat pengalaman dan ilmu yang terbaik sepanjang berada di program Sains Bayu. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. So, uh, Puan Maria is involved very much in microbiology teaching. So, you will see her for microbiology labs. Then we have uh, Cik Nurul Fatiha Samuri who is involved in uh, basic biochemistry teaching. Fatiha? Cik Fatiha? Cik Fatihah ada? ada? Right. Next we have um, Encik Masumi Muhammad Musin, Mr. Masumi who is involved in teaching of anatomy and physiology. Uh, Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang. Uh, selamat datang ke program Sains Bayu Perubatan. 
Okay, terima kasih. Next we have uh, Miss Nuraini Rusli, Cik Nuraini Rusli who is involved in microbiology teaching. Cik Nuraini. Assalamualaikum, selamat petang. Selamat datang ke Bogdan Sains Bayu Perubatan. Tanya. Okay, thank you Nuraini. Next we have uh, Cik Syaidatul Hadijah Busama, Miss Syaidatul. Hi everyone, welcome to the program and I will see you in first year, second and fourth. Welcome. Thank you, Shai. Thank you, Shai. Next, we Next have, we uh, have Encik Faisal, Faisal Arifin. Mr. Faisal Arifin. Okay, Assalamualaikum, selamat datang ke Fakulti Sains, Sains Kesihatan dan program Sains Bio Perubatan. Uh, nanti kita akan jumpa di face to face lah. Kalau ada ada lab, kalau tak ada lab, uh, tak ada lah. So, selamat datang ke UKM. Okay, terima kasih Cik Faizal. Next, we have uh, Puan Rafiah Muhammad Rafiai, Mrs. Rafiah, who will be involved in parasitology and entomology. Puan Rafiah. Saya dapat connect. Okay. Next we have Puan Nuraisha Akbar Ali. Puan Nuraisha. Puan Nuraisha. Hai. Selamat petang semua. Saya Puan Nuraisha. I will assist you in pharmacology, toxicology and probiotomy. See you soon. Thank you, Aisha. Next, we have uh, Miss Nurul Jehan Shamsuddin. Cik Nurul Jehan Shamsuddin will be involved in cytology and pathology teaching. Hi. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, selamat petang. Uh, selamat datang ke program Sains Bayu Perubatan. Saya Cik Nurul Jehan. Uh, kita jumpa dekat lab lah nanti. Thank you. I say thank you. Next, we have Cik Hafiza Abdul Rashid who recently joined our program. Hafiza. Uh, hai, Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Uh, saya ucapkan selamat datang dan tanya kepada semua student baru masuk. Kita jumpa nanti. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Last but not least, we have Puan Balkis Bashuri. Mrs. Balkis, also who recently joined our program. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Selamat petang. Saya Puan Balkis Puti Bashuri. Selamat datang kepada semua pelajar baru Biomed. Kita jumpa di lab nanti. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Now, I understand Dr. Satira has joined us. So, I would like to introduce Associate Professor Dr. Satira, whom you will meet in your first year. Dr. Satira. Okay, thank you, Dr. Jacinta. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon all. So, um, I'll be teaching uh, physiology. So, uh, I'll be also seeing you uh, next week. Okay, for the introduction for anatomy and physiology. So I'm the coordinator for NB1234. So I'll see you guys very soon. Okay, all right. Uh, again, uh, um, congratulations for, for joining uh, biomedical science and, and wish you uh, all the best and you'll have uh, lots, of, uh, lots of fun with us. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Satira. All right, so then I'm done for my part. So I would, uh, I guess I've exceeded my time by 10 minutes. So apologies. And I would like to pass the microphone back to Kadrina. And uh, for my part, I would just like to say welcome everyone. And I will see you this semester and also in your third year. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>